Welcome to the Arne and Carlos Butterfly Crochet Along that we'll be doing now for a few uh, weeks. Uh, this is going to be a very fun project and in the end we will do a little coverlet or a little blanket or something and there are going to be squares that look like this that will be crocheted together, right Arna? Yeah. Um, originally the, the shape of the butterfly is like this. And then you do the frame. And then the frame around. afterwards. And uh, this idea came to us from all the butterflies that we collect in little frames that we Having we get house and and this book We've got a great book. If you are normal, we just pick colors and use whatever we have. But if you have problems picking colors, you can also look in this book. It's really good for butterflies. So we've decided to split this up in different stages, and so you can join us every single week now to do the stages together with us and then in the end we'll be ready to get something really nice out there. Yeah, maybe something, yeah. something small. <laughs>And then you do a double crochet. Do that you take it, go one time on the needle with yeah. the yarn, pull the needle through the hole, you pull the yarn through the hole and through the two first and then the two last. Perfect. Stitches. So that's a double crochet. And then I chain how many? Uh, you chain one. Chain one and then I do two, two more of the double crochets. So one time on the needle, you go into the hole, you pull the yarn through, you go through the two first, the two last, and you do one more. One time on the needle, through the hole, pull the yarn through, and then you have three on the needle, you pull the yarn through the two first, and the two last. So if you think this is going too fast, don't despair. Just go onto our website, arnacarlos.com and you'll get the pattern there. It's written down. You can take your time, sit down and relax with a cup of tea or something and just read it. And then follow Arne on the video, read the pattern and it should be no problem. But I'm, I'm slow now. You're slower. Slower. What do I do now? I do chain three. Uh, let's see. Is that still the row number one? No. No? Row two. Row. Okay, so turn and chain three. Yeah, so one, right. two, Three. And then I do um, double, crochet. double crochet. Okay, so you do one double crochet, you chain one, and then you do one double crochet around the chain between the two center double crochets of the previous row. Yeah, so I did a three. I go with the yarn one time on the needle. I go in the middle around that chain and I do one more. Yep. And another one in the same place. So, and then I do another double crochet. double crochet in top of the first or, or, or in top of the last one on the row between. Will we will we be repeating this now like, for a while? Like uh, ten times or something. Ten okay, so so we'll I turn it again. I do a chain three one. Two, th three. I do a double stitch. Double crochet. Double crochet around the one chain in the middle. Yeah, and then a double crochet. Mm -hmm. And then I chain one, 
I do another double crochet around the same chain one and then one double crochet in top of the last double crochet in the row between or so under. So do you want to repeat that again and do it real slow? So you turn it again, you chain three, one, slow, two, three. Perfect. And then you do... You do a double crochet around the chain in the middle like this. You pull the yarn through the two first, the two last ones, and you do a chain. Is this slow? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Can you do it even slower? Instead, no. of, <laughs> instead of having the quick competition <laughs> where you're the fastest, could you be the slowest? Okay, around the needle with the yarn, you pull the yarn through the center, put the yarn on the needle, mm. pull it through the two first, the two last, and then you do a double crochet in top of the last double crochet in the row below. And you keep doing that? So now I have... Ten times, basically. Yeah, now I have one, two, three, four parts of the body. Okay. Do you think we've shown it good enough now so that you can do them really fast? So that we can kind of fast forward? Since it's ten times, obviously. Yeah, there we go. So Arne is now fast forwarding. So it's, was it all together 10 or was it 10 including the first one? It says repeat row 2 10 times. Yeah, so it's hmm? 11 altogether. Exactly. I haven't done this 12 for a actually. While. 12. Because you've got row 1 and then row 2 and then you repeat yeah. row 2 10 so times. 12. So all together you've got 12. You're clever. Well, it's <laughs> mathematics. <laughs> That's really good. Okay, so the body is done. Yeah. You've got your 12 parts. So the next step is to... It's like you end, you end the body and you do the antenna. Okay. So this is kind of the head. I don't know. What you, but um, this is really hard to explain in English. But let's do it and let's see. Let's try. Yeah. So now we do this. The, the body. The body, yeah. So the it's top, kind of, top of the body. And there's like a hole there that is kind of like the head. This is kind of the head. These two are crocheted together and these two are crocheted together. So let's see if we can show them how to do this slowly. Yeah. So you do three. Okay, so you do chain three train, slowly. Chain three. You do a double crochet in the center. Okay. Like this. You sh chain one and you do... Uh, another double crochet in the center, mm -hmm. but you don't finish this one, and then you do another double crochet in the last, Perfect. in top of the last double crochet, and now you have all these three on the needle. Then you okay. finish these three together, ah. like in a group, and you turn it again. And now we're making the antenna. Okay, so for the antenna... Yeah, I do a slip stitch between these two. Yep. Two groups of double crochets. And then you do ten, ten. chain. One, One. Two. Two. Yeah. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Mm-hmm. And then you do a single crochet in the sixth chain. The sixth chain. chain from the needle. Which means you start counting from the so needle. You, so you don't so include... I don't include the one on the exactly. needle. Exactly. So start counting from the... So yeah. three, six. So that's in this one. And you do a single crochet. Single crochet and then I do, sing, I do single crochets all the way back. This is much easier in Norwegian. Yeah, uh, absolutely. I totally absolutely. agree. Absolutely. Sorry. One more. 
It's hard. The last one is really hard. And then I do a um, slip stitch back in in between those two mm. double crochets crochets on top yes. again, and then I chain ten. You saw so you do the second antenna. So now. this is the first antenna with a hole in the in the end. Mm. Then I do the other one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. Was that too quick? No, I think no. that's okay. You go to the sixth from the needle, so that's this one. So you do the exact same and thing again. And you do again. exactly the same, and then you do the um, single crochet. Hmm. Yeah, back. And you end with the slip stitch between the two groups of double crochets like this and you cut, cut cut the yarn and you pull the yarn through the last stitch so that's the the body with the antenna and if so you think it's hard to understand when we talk just look look at our website at the website and you'll find the pattern there so this is the body Next week, we'll start the wings, and uh, in the meantime, crochet bodies. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Check our website for the free pattern of this and Make other things. More bodies. Yeah. So, until next time. Bye.